Hello boxing fans, right now I'm going to talk about Vladimir Klitschko versus Tony Thompson. I've not even scripted this video freestyle on this one because it's not even worth going through properly really. You know, Vladimir Klitschko, I'm going to start with, has already beat Tony Thompson, who's now 40 odd. You know, Thompson's best been used recently, he's, he's fought like 3 or 4 fights, maybe 5, against less than journeymen. You know, these guys aren't even good enough to, you know, hold the towels of people, of, of decent contenders, you know, these guys wouldn't, they're not good enough, man, and he's like, he's been fighting, I think he's been used as a sparring partner, in fact, yeah, he was used as a sparring partner with David Hay for the fight against Lordly Harrison, and you know, that was an awful fight, you know, I'm, I'm understanding that um, Vladimir Klitschko, you know, is going to knock fuck out of him, I understand David Hay, you know, knocked fuck out of him in sparring, I just don't see the point, you know, he's not good enough to be at the top level, I don't see why he's still fighting, he's not proved he's the best in America, he's not the best in America, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't beat Eddie Chambers, Thomas Adamek, I don't think he would beat um, Seth Mitchell, I don't think he would beat uh, Kevin Johnson, you know, these are other guys in, in America, and you know, it's it's the American people, you know, the American fat boxing fans who've got to be pushing for these guys to start mixing it up, if you're happy with Tony Thompson, you know, fighting a guy with 20 losses, then, you know, that's on you, but I don't like it, you know, I mean, I'm not best pleased about Tyson Fury fighting a guy with 32 wins or 7 losses, you know, I want him, I want to see better, I want to see him fighting actual contenders, If it, once again, if you're happy seeing your guys fight nobodies, then continue on, but it's not what I'm, I'm here for, I'm here to see good fights. And this is not this is not represented, and I blame number one, the IBF. You know, the IBF I think is actually a joke. I think it's become a total and utter joke recently. They just they basically just try and appease the American fans. You know, they're based in America. They reformed when when they didn't like the people who the WBC were making as the mandatories, so they made their own one. They you know I think they're based in New Jersey. So they give like just basically Americans title shots. I don't agree with it. You know they're they're a joke to me. They don't they don't deserve. They mind you, the WBC they are much better. The best right now, are you know are probably the WBO. They're the ones who haven't disgraced themselves recently. You know I I, I think this is there's no point me really going through the advantages, but I will anyway. Um, why do Klitschko has the size and reach advantage, stamina advantage, power advantage? Boxing ability, speed, um, am I missing anything? Movement, chin, I was going to say it was probably with Tony Thompson, but he got knocked spark out by Vladimir Klitschko, so I doubt that's true, you know. Um, wh what's the point? How is Tony Thompson going to win this fight? You know, don't tell me who you think is going to win this fight, because we all know who's going to win this fight. How is Tony Thompson supposed to win this fight? I understand they tried to get the fight in America, you know. Um, they tried to uh, they give away... F I think 15%, they, they said, we'll just take 15%, we'll put it all in the middle, and we'll just take 50%, you take the rest. And they said, uh, you know, but we won the fight in DC. Obviously, the last person to fight in DC was Khan. And I think most people look at that as like a hometown job. So, yeah, you know, he wasn't going to go there. Wadami is too smart for that. So, at the end of the day, what you got to look at is what's it all come down to, you know? And it comes down to they got Switzerland. <laughs> They didn't like get much negotiation. You got Switzerland. Um, you got fifty-two thousand people in the stadium, and you've got that many people probably going to be witnessing Vladimir Klitschko knock Tony Thompson spark out again for the second time. It's a shame because there are guys out there that can pose threats. I think to Vladimir Klitschko. There's Pulev, you know, Dimitrenko as well. Yeah, anyway, I just don't. I'm not happy with this fight. At what point does it does it matter who holds the titles? If there's no point in, you know, if they're just going to be putting these bums in front of you, who, let's be honest, Tony Thompson could get seriously hurt or brain damaged, you know. If that happens, what are the IBF going to do? Ugh, they're not going to do anything about it, are they really, you know? The IBF aren't making, you know, real American contenders fight for their title. They're just giving it to American after American after American, you know. Maybe these guys should start mixing it up in their own division, you know actually make an American heavyweight division because right now you've got a few a load of Americans that are basically fighting bums they get in the ring with a Klitschko notice the supreme difference in talent between what they're used to facing and what they're facing now and then they choke get knocked out 
before trying to survive. You know, don't wait to get knocked out. That's what happens every single time. You know, even now they're trying to get Pavek into fight, but even Pavek can beat Eddie Chambers, who I think is probably the best American heavyweight to date. You know, I look at Tony Thompson. You got to say, who's Tony Thompson going to beat? Who's Tony Thompson going to beat? No one. He, Tony Thompson. If I look down the rankings, you know, I don't see him being anybody in the um, top twenty. No. Nope. And no one will reinforce it, the fact that he's fought four or five nobodies. He's not fought one person in the top 25. It's just a joke, I think. 